Hello and welcome to this short video introducing our new paper in research policy Landmarks as Lighthouses, Firms Innovation and Modes of Exit During the Business Cycle. The authors are Elena Chefis, Alex Code and Alessandro Lucini Paioni. The paper revisits the relationship between innovation and survival applying a new technique called landmark analysis. Landmark analysis allows us to combine high-frequency data on survival with low-frequency data that comes from three innovation surveys. In this way, we can introduce time-varying covariates in survival models. This allows us to see if innovation confers a survival premium and how this survival premium varies over the business cycle. This could be useful, for example, if innovation policy seeks to provide support to innovators in their time of need. Specifically, we focus on four types of innovation, product innovation, process innovation, organizational innovation, and marketing innovation, three exit routes, closure, failure, M&A, and three periods, normal times, crisis, and recovery. We do not make hypotheses for each of these possible cases, 4 times 3 times 3 equals 36 possible cases, but in the paper we discuss how the innovation premium is likely to vary across exit routes and how these would be affected by the time periods. Our data come from the Dutch Community Innovation Surveys, which come out every two years with census data on firm characteristics and survival. This is for the time period 2006 to 2015. Note the data structure. We have high frequency survival data at a monthly frequency matched with low frequency surveys every two years. This setup fits well with our landmarks methodology. Figure one shown here shows some of our main results. This figure shows the cumulative incidence functions or CIFs in a 3x3 three three matrix. The top row is for CIS 2006, the middle row is for CIS 2008, and the bottom row is for CIS 2010. The first column is for the exit route corresponding to closure, the second column is for exit via failure, and the third column is for exit via M&A. In the first column, we see that product innovators have lower chances of closing compared to non-innovators, and these differences are statistically significant and increasing over time. The second column shows that the relationship between product innovation and survival is less clear and depends on the time period. The third column shows that product innovators are less likely to exit via M&A. Similar graphs can be obtained for other innovation types but they are not shown here. In this figure, we take the regression coefficients from Cox proportional hazards survival models, controlling for other factors, and present them in a graphical way. This makes comparisons easier. The four graphs relate to the four innovation types. These regressions show that the survival premium granted by product innovation against closure seems to disappear during the crisis in line with previous studies. Process innovations introduced before the crisis increase survival chances during the crisis, although later on during the recovery years, the survival premium for process innovators fades away. Process innovation also offers a survival premium with regards to exit via failure and M&A, if we focus on the first time period. This contrasts with, for example, marketing innovation, which is not significantly associated with closure rates. Well, that's all for now. Keep innovating, keep surviving, and have a nice day.